Hey friends and welcome back to Vlogmas. Today I wanted to show you a bell ornament. Hi guys, today we're making a, a bell for our teachers. If you saw our last year teacher gift, we surrounded it around the book, The Kissing Hand, and this year we're gonna do a booked theme teacher gift again, but we're going to do the Polar Express. So I got these bell ornaments because if you're familiar with the Polar Express, then you know if the bell, if you hear the bell ring, then you know you still believe in the magic of Christmas. So I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. They do have quite a bit of hot glue on one side of them, so I just made sure that that was going to be the back of my ornament. And I am measuring the ornament to see how big of a decal I'm going to need to personalize this ornament. So I'm going to use one a one by two box to put our names in and I'm using this font to type the names up so I am doing just a generic name Wilson and I'm going to make sure I'm welding it and I am grouping it together and then I'm going to fill that in just with black so I can see what I'm working with and then I'm going to fit it in that box that is a little bit less than one inch by two inches and then I'm going to stretch the name the best I can diagonally and then however I need to stretch it to fill the rest of that box. So here I'm doing it vertically and then that's one name. So I just went ahead and typed all the names that I was going to need for all of our gifts for teachers or bus drivers and I'm going to take my ornament and wipe it down with some alcohol just so it is nice and clean and all of the oils that are on the ornament are wiped off so our name can stick on there. So now I'm going to weed this and I'm not a big fan of working with adhesive vinyl, especially when it's this tiny. I always get it stuck to itself. I wanted to kind of keep this in here for you guys to show you that even us the great crafters of YouTube. <laughs> we still have troubles, we still run into problems, and I'm having trouble weeding this W. Really what I should have done is something called reverse weeding, where I put my transfer tape on top of the entire decal with the name and the background, everything on it completely unweeded, and then weed from the transfer tape. That way the little pieces in the name would have stuck to it. But instead, I'm just going to continue to fight with this piece of vinyl until I can get the name the way I need it. So Again, this is part font choice too. If I would have bolded it or used a bolder font, I might not have ran into this problem as much especially working with such a tiny piece but I'm just trying to place that W as flat as I can so it looks like a W and just keeping the adhesive vinyl away from all of the other vinyl but I end up just rolling my vinyl on top of itself. I am. I'm always doing that. I don't know. I always stick it to itself. Anyway, I finally got it out. It looks great. So I'm going to move on with the project and use some transfer tape. My favorite sort of transfer tape is really cheap and just a roll of clear contact paper from the Dollar Tree. It lasts me forever. So I am just sticking my... <laughs> name to this adhesive vinyl and then I'm going to pull it very slowly because pieces like that eye, the dot of the eye, can you can miss them a little bit so go slow and pull your name off. There you go and then I'm going to add it to my bell and when I add it to my bell I'm going to do this kind of hack where I take just a roll of toilet paper so everything can sit nicely for me. I should have cut that little piece of greenery that keeps getting in my way. I should have cut it off before I did this. Instead, I just keep moving it and get frustrated with it. But anyway, I do get the name on there. And since this is a script font, I'm going to hinge it. So I'm going to start with the L and then go out one way. And then I'm going to go out the other way. There you go. So I can get all the letters on there since this is a curved surface. So it's an easier way to get things on a curved surface is just to start in the middle and then I'm going to press down and carefully take off that transfer tape. Again, being really careful with things like that dot in the eye. And 
there we go we have a Wilson bell and these do ring so when you give them out as gifts they will know that they still believe in the magic of Christmas <laughs> Also, I'm cutting off any kind of extra strings or any little lines of hot glue, globs, or anything that were on these ornaments. These came from the Dollar Tree, so each ornament was just a dollar, and I think just cleaning it up a little bit, they're still super cute and really adorable gifts. The bow kind of twists on the top so you can move it where you want it with your name. And here we go. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Yay! I'm all done with my cute little bell for our Polar Express gifts. And there we go. There it is in front of my Christmas tree. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, you can find more from us here. Make sure you subscribe so you can follow all of our adventures. I will be posting the rest of our teacher gifts on YouTube, so make sure you're following along. Send some Christmas cheer my way by giving me a big thumbs up and tapping that bell. And let me know down in the comments what are your ideas for teacher gifts this year. Bye, guys.